to another studio vlog. I ignore what's going on here. It's early. I decided to get up early and get my video that I want to go up today posted before I even like really come down to the studio. So I'm just trying to get that done really quick because I have to get my girls up right away to get them to childcare. So um, we're going to spend another day in the studio today uh, doing what I can. On today's agenda, I've got a little bit of organization I want to do. I always have organization I want to do in the studio, but I can't spend a lot of time doing a big project today. I just, there's a couple new pieces and I want to put them to use. My hands desperately need a bath. Sorry, I'm so tired. I was up like way too late last night. <laughs> Um, I was doing my own nails and I was drinking wine and just watching like Nails by Jen on YouTube. If you guys haven't checked her out, you need to because uh, she's a newer channel. I've known Jen for years. I've loved like the nail art that she's created for years and she started a YouTube channel recently. And her content is so good. So I was like way too late watching that. Oh, and we have a bunch of filming to try and get done today. I'm not too sure if I'm going to spend much time editing, more so filming. You know how it goes with studio vlogs, random, all over the place. Oh. This is another favorite, you guys. This little uh, mouse pad holder, like for your wrist, you just rest your wrist on it. I seriously love it. I wasn't too sure if I was going to, but I use it all of the time now. It's just one of my favorite like pieces for editing. Like it just really helps, especially if you struggle with like any sort of wrist pain or anything. I'm finding that it really helps. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to share with you guys in today's video is there's so many new products here, you guys, that I'm gonna do a bit of a haul once I Go back upstairs, get dressed. Okay, so I got what I needed to done for YouTube. And now I just want to do some like Insta stories really quick and then head upstairs because I have to get my girls ready. I don't think I've ever mentioned my loopy case on, in, like, on YouTube before, but I absolutely love my loopy cases. I've had them for years i finally invested in one and i absolutely love it like especially if you're sitting here doing stories and stuff it's just nice because it doesn't move around or if you're like videoing you can do one hand and holding things it keeps it nice and stable which is great you don't have like a shaky camera when you're trying to do stories but anyway absolutely love it uh they sent me this one and i do have a discount code for loopy now which is amazing it is talia's nail tails if it'll save you i think it's 10 percent off but it's something I've never, I don't think ever mentioned on the channel before about how much I love my loopy case. I actually, when I ordered this new phone, um, my loopy case was not going to be arriving for uh, probably like three weeks or something. I think that's how long it takes lately to get to Canada. So I ordered something on Amazon and was using that and I was like counting down the days until my loopy case came in. I just love them so much. Okay, back to trying to finish this. Got my video posted to Instagram, my Facebook group. I have to... Uh, do something in my Instagram feed. I just don't have time to do it right now. Uh, right now I'm going to go upstairs and get my girls ready to go and then I will be back after I'm done all of the things with it, getting them to childcare. Oh, you guys, pure chaos this morning. I think I just <laughs> need to get back to my 5 a.m. routine because I was like the most productive then. Anyway, back in the studio. What I'm going to do really quick is respond to comments on the video that went up right now and then I'm going to edit down the big video to be a mini clip for my Instagram. Get that posted to my Instagram and then I'm done with today's video. Why not walk you through a little bit of the editing process when I um, do like mini clips for Instagram. I don't know why that took me so long. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just select everything, remove the audio because I don't need my audio for Instagram. I'm just gonna go highlight it all and delete it. And then I'm gonna get rid of all of the clips that I don't need. So right at the beginning here, I did a little bit of a haul. I don't need any of that. And I'm also, I think, going to focus on just the um, stamping for the video. I'll do a little bit of the gel polish, so I'll leave some of that in right now. But there's a lot of this that I can just remove. Now, if you're posting a short clip on Instagram, if you're going to the feed, it's going to be one minute. Anything after that, Instagram TV. Um, I don't know. It, I like to do a mix of both. So just depending on how long this ends up being will determine where it's gonna go, but I think I want it to go to the feeds. I'm pretty sure you can only get Final Cut on like Mac devices though. There's a lot of stuff I take out for these mini clips because it's just not, I'm not talking, I'm not really explaining anything, so it's just not necessary to have in. Watching it back and seeing what I could do, I was able to get it under one minute. Well, not really, we're at 102, but that's okay. The last little bit of it just will be cut off when I upload it to Instagram. 
but now that I've washed it back, I just need to create a master file of it and then I airdrop it to myself on my phone and then I can post it on Instagram. Um, that's kind of, I guess, one of the disadvantages of Instagram is it's all done on your phone, which for people who um, don't edit on computers and stuff, that works. But for me, I do the majority of all of my things on my computer so also why i use like all apple products though is because they just work seamlessly together so it won't take long for it to upload to a master file get it posted to instagram and then i can move on with my day <laughs> have like the fingers in here just kind of sitting in this box and they're getting really kind of dirty with this little fluff thing that's in here i'm not entirely sure if i'm going to keep my fingers in this box but for now i'm going to keep it because it is a good little storage container for them i don't generally like to submerge them but these ones are like really dusty from everything so i'm just going to give them a quick wipe they actually come really clean really really easily who would have thought that I would be this obsessed with like fake hands? They're ready to go. They don't take long to dry either. Um, I like to them down a little bit because it absorbs a lot of that moisture. But I was just thinking, I think I'm going to bring that mesh thing back. Then it'll add a little bit of airflow to drive it better and then I can position them up too. I don't know if this is like a, like a worry of these hands, but I don't want, like the wells in the fingers are really, really deep. So I don't want water just like sitting in there like that. Okay, let's talk about some new things in the studio. So first up, New lights, these are the Light Elegance LED dot lamps. So the ones that I'm using are the LED LED Plus lamps, I think. I want to say they came out about three years ago. Um, and then these ones, I believe, came out last year. So I haven't upgraded, but I want to. So I uh, picked these up from Creative Beauty. I have two of them. If I have time today, I'm going to try and switch those lights out uh, because I'd really like to get started using these. The only thing is, and I've mentioned this in multiple videos, but I have electricity put into my desk. All of my cords and stuff are like zip tied underneath so that I don't have like cords running all over the place. So it's gonna be a process to actually unzip all of those and I just don't know if I have time today. Uh, next thing, a couple new Hemp's products. I picked up the Hemp's Sandalwood and Apple Herbal Shave Gel and I posted about this on Instagram as well. If you guys want me to keep you updated on what I think of the Hemp's body products, I definitely can. It's not nail related so i'm not too sure if you guys want to hear that but it's out of my normal shave cream and i've never tried like a gel like this so actually i haven't smelled this yet either oh my gosh that smells amazing it's got like a woodsy smell with the sandalwood and then a sweet smell with the apple so that smells great and then you guys know how much i love the pink pomelo and himalayan sea salt lotion i picked up the scrub as well so both of these items are just going to go upstairs in my bathroom and i'm going to give them a try up there but um if you're looking for new body products to try out, hemp stuff is great uh, from everything that I've tried so far from them. Okay. All of these things are um, from Creative Beauty. Picked up another pack of the Crystal Pixies. These, this one is in, what is it called? Rebel Spirit. And it's like a blue and white and they are the Edge Pixies. So I think in my last video, I opened up the uh, Bubble Pixies, which are little round ones. And these I'll include in the Pixie video that I'm doing as well. But OMG. I was thinking that these would be good for winter, but I hope you guys can see there. It's got a little bit of like a teal crystal in it, and then it's got gunmetal and silver. These are really pretty. I would design an entire nail set around this. You know what would, this would be really good for is if you did um, like teal stone nails and then had this as like an accent nail. That would be really pretty. Okay, this is for my mom. <laughs> this is the Wildflowers Cat Eye Gel Polish. I grabbed the whole set. I was just gonna grab a couple of them, but I figured I would do an entire video on swatching these and demoing them for you guys. Six different colors. Oh, this is pretty. I've had, I had their last gel polish set, cat eye gel polish set, and I found it to be not super pigmented. So I'm hoping this is a little bit better, but even just like opening the packaging here, 
like I can see right away how much more pigmented this is so that's great and I didn't shake this up much or anything and then it comes with I think just one magnet a couple other small items here I did grab the wildflowers art paint in black and white I don't think they have other colors it reminds me of like old-school filming where I used to just hold stuff up to the camera <laughs> so they had the black and white wildflowers art paints thought I would give them a try if you guys have been here for a while you know that I love the Orly instant artists you can't get them anymore except for the polish uh, version not the paint version and I use black and white paint sometimes um, like leopard print or anything like that too. So I'm curious to see what I think of these compared to the Orly Instant Artist because I have yet to find a paint that I like as much as that. Um, I grabbed two foils as well. We have Night Leopard and Roman Marble. So a purple leopard and then this like really fun like gold marble one. When I did my nails last night in this leopard print, I actually wanted to use a foil for the leopard print and I don't have any. So that is something I need to add to my wish list is some leopard print foil because I think that would be great. I also grabbed the Wildflowers Unicorn Powder. This is going to be a fantastic kind of chrome product to use for uh, win winter nails, I think. It is like a holographic chrome. This giant thing back here is the Wildflowers Gel Polish Collection, the whole collection. If you grab the whole collection, it comes with this really nice travel case as well to either store them in or travel with. It's got a zipper compartment up at the top here and really well made, a really nice sturdy case. It would be great for nail travel. It also comes with a swatch book of all of the gel polishes in the collection. So this is all the colors that are in there. And when I showed this on Instagram, I asked you guys if you want, what you want me to do with this. Do you want me to do one video swatching all of the gel polishes or do you want to see like a demo in the video comparisons what do you guys want me to do i think i'm going to just do a whole swatching video of these so you guys can see how they apply but i'm curious to get your guys's feedback on it as well um this will likely be coming up in september i've got some other videos that i need to do before that but whole wildflowers gel polish collection i'm really curious to see how those apply and then from clear jelly we have this is their foil collection as well as their sticky oh my gosh as well as their sticky polish so i have the black and the white sticky polish that you can get to go with their foil collection they also launched a new brush that i don't have to share with you guys but you can buy all of these in a collection as well i think this is what i'm going to do my video on today because i'm really curious to see how these swatch like i had no idea this was coming i'm really pumped to kind of try it out had a bunch of new glitters from glitter bells come in I know Sarah's gotten new glitters since um, I've received these as well, so I might have to go browse the site. Also, a ton of glitter mixes from the Glitter Boutique, but I think I'm just going to do a glitter haul on all of this stuff, is kind of what I'm thinking. I forgot two other things I wanted to share with you. I popped into Home Sense this week uh, to see what they had, and I found a couple of organization pieces that I want to set up before I start filming. So the first one here is a three-drawer cosmetic organizer, but it has these little slots in it which I thought would be really good for my hands accessories. So I've got a bunch of knuckle rings and stuff, and I thought they would fit really well in these little cubbies. I'm just gonna set this up um, here as well. And then this I'm actually really excited about. It is a Lazy Susan, but it's got like a brush holder in the top, and it also has a bunch of compartments here for smaller things. So I'm gonna put like my Coco and Claire gel polishes and stuff that I use all the time um, for filming in here, as well as like, my Ugly Duckling cuticle oil that I've been using on people lately and I have um, a Lazy Susan on my desk right now that has my pump bottles and stuff in it and I'm actually really liking it. Um, you guys know I go back and forth on whether I like things on the desk or not and certain things I'm liking right now. So I think this will function really well. I'm looking forward to setting that up too. If you guys keep up with Nails by Jen's channel, she got some vase filler for um that she uses for her nail brushes and stuff from the dollarama to look for because i think that will work great in here i have in this part for this brush i've got like these beads in here these don't hold the brushes up very well the vase filler will definitely work better uh so for now i think i'm just gonna leave the inside here but i mainly wanted it for like these type of items and like all my coco and claire products in here as well And it 
also wanted it for my current favorite top gloss, which I absolutely love that top gloss. First in here too. We'll see how to women end up doing this, but that did, oh ah, you guys, new glue for Beanie. I'm really excited about this too. This might not stay in here, but Beanie launched a new uh, Swarovski crystal glue. And I'm really excited to try this out because Beanie is in the process of making this for quite a while. So uh, it should be a good one. I'm really, really looking forward to giving that a try as well. Actually, I might put this dust brush in here as well. So those are just some of my most used products. I'll just keep them nice and heavy, ready to go. these in a haul one time but these are just from Amazon and they're just knuckle rings um, Sarah showed these in a haul one time and I was like yep my hands need that <laughs> and I really like them all right all done and then there's room to grow down here if I can get rose gold ones for down here that would just be perfect You guys like when I show paper pads in vlogs so I thought I would do that for you right now really quick because I need to set up some backgrounds for filming so I picked these up at Michael's a few weeks ago first one that I picked up is called marsh flower I love this for uh, fall I love like this teal wood grain so when I look for paper pads, I look for ones where I can use at least like 75% of the backgrounds. Um, these darker ones aren't the best for filming. I might use this for my Beamy haul actually. I really like that one. But this one had like this one, I don't know. It, like I said, it's not the best for filming, so I likely won't use it. Uh, but a lot of the other ones in here I will for sure use. Love the dark blue tones on this one, and I love these type of ones. These are part of their hot buy ones, so these ones you can't use a coupon with. Uh, but this one is pumpkin vines. Again, I love the blue tones. It must just be like a popular shade for fall. I was using lots of blue. Also, these foily ones, you can even see right here, don't film the best either. Sometimes you can get good pictures with them, but those ones, they're really pretty. I just don't tend to use them a lot. But I love this one for fall nails. I actually would love to do a nail set inspired by these tones. I think that would be beautiful for fall. So this one did have a lot of dark backgrounds, but I think I can get some use out of it too. These ones I believe were buy one get one 50% off. So this one I thought would be great, not only for fall, but for like all year round. I love that it was a whole bunch of different colors of plaid that you could use all year round. These are their big 180 sheet pads. Um, the paper quality in this is not really good. So for scrapbooking, like if you wanted like thinner paper, that's what you would use for this. Um, for backgrounds of filming, to me it doesn't really matter, but this will be a good all year round one, not just for fall, even though you, I don't know, I kind of think of plaid for fall. But I can also pair this with whatever I'm trying to show in videos um, based on the color for fall videos too. So a great versatile background pad. And then this one, I love the variety of different um, patterns in this one. So there's floral, there's marble, there's quartz, there's random ones. I've already used this one in a couple uh, videos. There's some wood grain. This one is a great variety pack. Some of the backdrops are a little bit too busy for my liking for videos, but again, I can definitely use at least 50% of this pad for videos too. I initially went into Michael's just wanting fall pads, so it was nice to find some that I can use all year round. And then I will likely go back and see if I can grab some winter pads as well, because winter ones last year, I grabbed really dark ones. They just don't film the best. Alrighty. 
I'm gonna go through the glitters that I picked up from the Nail Throne too really quick uh, before I start filming, just because I want you guys to see them. They're really, really good. So I love the packaging of the Glitter Bells glitters. They just get really dirty. So I just put lotion on and that's why they're kind of dirty, but that's all besides the point. Let's talk about what they look like inside. So this one is Gecko. I know Sarah showed this on like a vlog or something. And I'm like, I need this. And I actually filmed a tutorial using this, so that will be up eventually. Uh, so you guys can see what that looks like when I use it in that video. There's a lot of pinks in here, so let's keep the pinks all together. There's five pinks, and let's talk about the other colors really quick. So this is Snowbell, and it is a mixed matte glitter, matte white glitter. I got this for winter nails. Sarah and I are going to do our collab this year. It's just going to look a little bit different. Uh, we'll have more details on that down the road. But um, I know I wanted this for winter nails. And Sarah and I start planning and filming those type, that type of content in October. So I know that's a ways away, but I just wanted to make sure that I grabbed that as well. So this is Sunburst. I love this because it's like a chartreuse green glitter. And as soon, you guys know what I'm gonna say. Anytime I, I show greens, I feel like I'm like floral nails, but I think that would be great, especially for spring or summer florals. And then this is the one that I was most excited to grab. And this is just a silver mixed glitter, but I love this because it's really hard to find just silver mixes. Um, a lot of the time they'll have hollow in them or the silver will be mixed with other colors, but to just have a silver mix with nothing else is fantastic. And I use this all of the time. Um, the one that I'm currently using, I think is from Michael's and I'm just about out of it. And um, when I saw this either in her video or on the site, I can't remember, I had to snag it because go through those really quickly. So five different pink glitter mixes. Again, a couple of these she had shown and I was thinking, hey, those are Talia mixes. <laughs> so Peony here, and this is all one color, just a few different sizes, and it's a really nice kind of rosy pink. And this one is Blossom. And this one is just a little bit of a brighter pink. And this one is Rose Pink. I love this one because it's got like a rosy, more of a rosy hue to it. So the three different shades, if you're kind of wondering, and they're just all a little bit different. So a light pink, a medium pink, and then more of a rosy pink here as well is Twinkle Toes. So a little bit of a brighter pink and it's got some holographic chunkies in it. And then the last one here is attitude and this again is a brighter pink with some um holographic chunkies in it but they're not like the huge giant chunky so i definitely wanted to show you guys that before i get started with my filming so i have about another hour here of filming time before i have to run and get the girls and i'm gonna get started on the beanie video filming my Beamy Beauty Box haul video. Uh, I made a giant mess. It is a huge mess down here. I'll come back to film while they're napping and talk a little bit more in the studio vlog then. Okay, so back from picking the girls up, doing all that stuff, and I get to spend some time in the studio. Um, my oldest daughter doesn't nap anymore, so um, she just gets a little bit of quiet time. So when she's done, I'm done. <laughs> I just went live on Instagram to share this sticky polish and these were the designs that we did live. So this one I showed you guys, we did this one live and then this one with pigments. How cool is that? So I am going to design a set now with all of these possibilities of things that we can do with this sticky polish. Just finished this design. I'm really liking those sticky polishes you guys, but I need to show you 
this disaster that is going on in my studio. Okay, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves, guys. If I had time, I would film like a clean with me video, but I don't because I have a client tonight. Sort of. She's a friend. She's not like really a client. But anyway, uh, this is the disaster of a mess left behind from a day of filming and trying new products, doing live videos, all of the things. I'll be here in about 45 minutes, but I also need to fit in time to eat because if I try and do nails when I'm hungry, it's a disaster. So I'm gonna tidy this up. studio vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I think we had a lot of fun. We got a lot accomplished. It was a great day in the studio. I actually think I might try and use one of these glitters here on her. This girl that I have coming in, she gets the simplest nails. Super short, square, doesn't care what I do. So I tend to just do like a glitter fade. Uh, she doesn't like to wear Swarovski crystals or have them long. So I like to do like glitter fades on her as well. But um, I'm, I'm not gonna film her. If you want me to film her down the road, I can. They're just really short nails. So I'm not sure if anybody wants to see them. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you're following me on all my social media. Bye.